What up, tankers? Welcome back to another episode of Get Tanked, featuring the Tank Bro. So here's a new thing. Uh, actually, I'll give, you, I'll give you guys an update. So uh, me and Justin are still together and doing Tank Bros, but Justin will be doing a lot more focusing on some videos and stuff here and there. Uh, he's got a lot going on with school and with um, soccer, so you'll be seeing a lot more of me, which is good for you. Um, but yeah, so I guess one of the things I was talking about earlier was on our website I had posted a, um, I guess kind of a couple snippets of different things I wanted to talk about, um, and I had also posted on Facebook. And make sure you guys really check out our Facebook, because I think that's where I'm going to start posting a lot more. Um, it's a nice, but it's a better platform. It's got a lot more stuff uh, to offer. So I think I'm gonna start posting a lot more to Facebook and just kind of making Facebook kind of like my main thing. Um, and also, I think I'm gonna look into getting a Twitter, but we'll see. I'm not a huge fan of Twitter, but I guess uh, so. To get it back into the topic, um, I like I said about the post on my website and on Facebook. I had posted on the website uh, kind of just to like. I guess the little rant, I suppose, of just kind of my thoughts on a lot of things right now. Um, I had posted on Facebook and I had said, being comfortable with the uncomfortable. And I guess I want to further get into what I mean by that. So I, when I say being comfortable with the uncomfortable, I mean just kind of stop going through the motions of life. Stop just kind of going to your day-to-day -day task, doing all these things that you do every single day, and it's just like, they're just boring, they're dumb, they're dull, you know? Like, life isn't meant to just be a thing that you just constantly do the same thing every day. Like, do you really want to go through life living the same day for 50 years? To me, like, that's just, that's just, I can't, I can't even fathom the thought of doing that. I want to live my life and I want it to be something new every day. And yeah, there's going to be tasks, there's going to be jobs that like obviously you have to go into work and you have to do these certain things. But life doesn't have to be like that. Now if you're doing a job that you love doing every day, that's what I feel like that's what life's about. Life's about doing something that you love to do. Live life to the fullest. And that's what I really want to focus on is living life because a lot of us get stuck in this pattern of, well, I'm supposed to go to school, I'm, post, I'm supposed to get a job, I'm supposed to work every day, I'm supposed to start a family. That's what life is, that's, being, that's what accomplishment is, and I, like to, I want to argue with that because that's something that I've been told off, you know, growing up is like, you know, like that's what I'm supposed to do, I gotta go to school, I gotta get married, I gotta get, have a family and kids and everything, and I gotta get a real, a real job. And to me that's just like, that's just silly because everybody's life's different. Everybody's gonna turn out different, everybody's gonna do something different, and not everybody's gonna be the same, hopefully. And I think the hard part is like a lot of us, instead of trying to stand out in today's society, instead of trying to do something different or do something that we wanna do because we like it and we wanna do it, we're all trying to conform to what everybody else is doing. We're all trying to do the same things that everybody else is doing because, well, that's what's cool or that's what, uh, I'm supposed to do. And we get taught in school all the time, you know, don't do these certain things, don't do that, it has to be done this way. But everything is going to be done a different way. There's always a different way to do something, and you still can get the same results. We need to stop trying to make everybody conform to the same kind of things because we're not all the same people. You know, we were all given different gifts, we were all given different talents, and we need to take hold of those. Start becoming comfortable with being uncomfortable. I, right now, am at a school, and I, I am in college, I study social work, and I, and I like, I mean, I love it. And the thing is, like, I, it's funny because like, I'm like one of the only guys. There's not many guys in the social work field. And so classes are interesting when you're with 30 other girls. And it's a... Uh, it's a fun thing, but it's a, I mean, sometimes it can be disheartening because like, you know, you'll, you'll meet new friends or you'll meet new people and the first thing everybody always asks in college or when you go home or whatever is, you know, what's your major? 
and you know, you, well, I'm social work, and they're like, oh, well, good for you, like, that's so great. And I'm just like, thanks. You know, it's just like, you know, I just don't, I, it's such a, a thing where it's like, well, oh, well, that's not like what I would have done, or I would have been a business. Like, I, there's times where I think, like, why don't I just say business? Because, I mean, like, that's what I like to do, that's what, I, that's what I'm doing right now. Um, and it's just like, what's wrong with what I like to do? I love helping people, I love interacting with people, I love talking to people. And, like, that's one of the reasons I started doing this was because, I love talking with you guys. I love sharing what I think and how I think in different things. And um, you know, if it reaches one person or if it reaches a million person people, then you know, great. But I think the ultimate goal is for me here is to just just to share life, how I do life. I want to I want to learn about you guys. I want to hear what you guys do in life. Um, but ultimately, I just want to I want to share and learn and live. Uh, my life to the fullest. And so, to me, that looks like going out and doing things that you don't normally do. Especially, and I feel like college is such a great place to do that because you get, it's like a, it's a clean sheet. You're starting over. You get to start from scratch. You get to be whoever you want to be. And nobody can tell you different because most of the time, nobody knows you. And I think that it's never too late to be the person you want to be in life. You just got to work and you got to do it. Otherwise, you're just going to sit and be the same person that you already were. You'll be stagnant. You'll be stuck in the mud. You'll be stuck in the same rut of doing the same thing that you did yesterday. A desk job, to me, is one of the scariest jobs in the world because, to me, that just means routine. I show up to work, I go to my cubicle, I sit at my computer and I do whatever, and I do my job. And then I go home, eat dinner, if I have a family, hang out with a family, talk to my wife or whatever, and then go to bed and do the same thing again. I can't even I can't even think of doing that for my job. Like that to me is just no like it's insane. I don't understand how anybody could be happy doing that. And I feel like my, most of the time people aren't happy doing that. But it's just something they get stuck in because they get comfortable or they get lazy and they don't know what else to do. And the thing is, you just got to go out and learn and you got to do it. If you want a new job, if you want a new place in life, if you want to own your own business, then you got to go out, you got to learn, and you got to do it. Don't talk about doing it. Don't talk about, well, if I did this, I could do this. Just do it. Stop talking about stuff. And that's what I got tired of seeing for myself was... I would talk about stuff. I would talk about, oh, I want to do this, or I want to go see this place, or whatever. But that's all it would be, was just talking about it. Like, oh, yeah. But now, I have an opportunity to go travel the world. Um, I'm going to be in Europe from August until December, studying abroad. And I can't be more excited, because it's something that I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to be in Europe. I've always wanted to travel. I, wanted, I always wanted to experience something new. And it was just like, I kept seeing people doing all these cool things or going to all these cool places and I just kept thinking like, well, I want to do that or I want to do, you know, I want to go see that place. And I can't be more excited because I can't wait to go and experience the world for myself. Stop looking at other people's Instagrams or websites or YouTube or whatever, seeing them do it. I want to do it myself, and I want to see what the world is like for myself. And so I encourage everybody to go out and do something like that, to go experience something that you always wanted to experience, to go get that job that you always wanted to get, to start that business that you always wanted to start. You just got to be the one to do it because it's your dream. It's your desire. It's what you want to do. But now you got to put in that work. Things don't happen overnight. And I think that's what frustrates a lot of people is like they want that, they want that instant gratification. They want that instant success. My goal with this isn't to be famous in the next year or in the next two years or the next three years or to be rich in the next year or two. My goal is to do something that I love doing. And that's sharing life with those around me. That's experiencing life. That's going on adventures. That's starting this business of online marketing and social media management. 
Social media has such power in today's age. And I think all small businesses and big business, any business, honestly, anybody who wants to do anything in business needs to be on social media. This is one of the biggest tools that all businesses need to take advantage of. Everybody has one of these. And the age for everybody hearing one of these gets younger and younger. Social media can reach so many more people than putting it on a billboard or putting an ad on, on a website. But if you start using social media and you start really learning how to use it efficiently, your business will thrive so much. And that's what I'm here to help you do. I'm here to help you guys take this device and make it a great, great asset to your business. So in the next few videos, I will be explaining a little bit more of what I do, why I do it, and how to do it. Um, just so I can give you guys some more insight on what's going on and what kind of, like, kind of things we do here. So, like we have our marketing campaigns and we have our um, social media management. So social media management is we'll create different um, social medias for you, so, such as like Facebook or uh, Twitter, Instagram, stuff like that. Um, and then we'll create those and manage those for you. Um, if you already have something created, we'll take that and manage that for you so that we can really start getting the word out for you and start putting you in the right direction that you want to be in. Because right now, a lot of people, there's businesses on social media, but they don't know how to use them the right way. And so I'm, that's what I'm here to do, is I'm here to teach you how to do it and how to use this to get more sales, to, to get your business out there, to get more reach out there. And so, um, if you want to check it out, go ahead and check it out. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Um, if you're interested, any inquiries, I'll have all the links to all our information down below, right here. Here, 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 here. So, make sure you check those out. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for coming um, and just kind of tuning in and sticking around if you stuck around this whole time. Shout out to Freak Sound. Shout out to um, Chicago Land Aquariums, uh, Kush Corals. Uh, thank you guys for all your support. Um, and thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you want to see some more of this good stuff. So, uh, until the next ones, just remember guys, Get tanked.